Yo guys, Master Markov here, and welcome to Risk of Rain. So, we are going to show you today how to find each and every single one of the artifact stone slabs. Not individually, just what the codes are, because the original image has already been corrected for what the actual artifacts were. And just to make it easier for some people, I decided to make a video instead on where to actually find each and every single one of these artifact slabs. Just so, if you want to go out and find where these actual things are, some of them even have secrets by them in the locations that they're located, you can see where they are too. First one is easiest. First one is right in settings. It is directly here next to your escape pod. Now, it is basically mirrored on the other side. It is just triangle, circle, triangle, Three circles, triangle, circle, triangle. So, essentially, that's all you have to remember for it. It's pretty easy and pretty good to find. Now, the next one is technically the easiest and the hardest at the same time because it's another one you could do without actually having to leave the starting menu. But another one that you also need to have um, already gotten the environmental log for a hidden realm moment fractured now this one is located on the very bottom of a moment fractured now i do believe that i think it's this is the way up with the directional arrow keys if i'm not too mistaken here so actually wait no right Yeah, this is, this is directly up for the screen. Now, it goes crystal, square, square, crystal, circle, square, crystal, square, square. And all you need to have for that is find the bottom of the Hidden Realm of Moment Fracture. Now, there is actually another, um, another, uh thing here there's another artifact slab in the actual a moment fracture now in order to get to it it's just right behind the obelisk of a moment fracture but that requires you to get all the way through and i'll show you where that is later on in the video for now let's start off with some of the earliest things first to distant roost all right let's start this off with a bang first we are going to need to get to the top of basically the world for this first one um I think I see it over there, but I can't tell if that's where it was or it was back over here. Basically, you're gonna need either a bunch of popple feathers, someone like Mercenary or Huntress, in order to get you high up on the map. Though, you do not want to go too high, whereas you would just kind of be too high and fall off or something like that. You get spawned back. You just want to be high enough where you actually can get to any place that you need to go. Um, I think this is it. This should be the first one more distance. Now, you can see the runes here. This is the order in which you put it in. And you put just circle, triangle, triangle. Uh, crystal is four presses, in case you didn't know. This isn't square. Circle, triangle, diamond, diamond, circle, basically. And we'll go off next to titanic planes. Alright, perfect. We're in the best possible spawn to show you exactly where the uh artifact stone slab is now you probably oh boy <laughs> let's try and get a little bit of a running start here but if you could see it it is off in the distance there i know that might be a little bit hard to see so i'm gonna try and fly myself as close to it as possible and get you a good picture of it now the artifact here is all crystal on the left squares in the middle and circles on the right so, that's crystal square circle three times. I'm just going to try and get as close as I can to it to try and get the best picture possible without actually activating the border. I'm not sure when that'll be, but honestly, you can get pretty far out here with artifice. You can actually get out pretty far over here. Like this. Jesus. So, off to the next one. Alright, the next area that we're going to show you is uh, the wetlands aspect. Now, here it's uh, pretty simple for this one. Anyone who already knows um, the area 
like me well enough should know exactly where I'm taking them to. This is seen in every single wetlands aspect. Um, off the edge of here, there's actually a Easter egg kind of thing with, I believe it used to be a skeleton inside here. We just go inside this cave. Um, you're going to kind of be more careful when you come out. Mostly because you kind of have to die in order to really efficiently get out of here, unless you have plenty of hop feathers. And uh, in here is where you'll find the next tablet. Uh, for those of you who can't see too well, it's a uh, circle, 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 square, triangle, square, circle, triangle, circle. Just for all those fine folks out there. Now, usually you just drop down here. Uh, sometimes you might find, uh, I think there was an environmental log in there. So, don't quote me on that one, because I'm not entirely sure my own self. Alright, so, off to the next. Okay, now, this one is a two-parter. First part I can exactly show you, uh, or the first part is the only part I can show you for right now, since you need two people or to be engineer in order to actually show this. This is the top half of one of the artifact slabs. The bottom half is inside there. Um, technically I think you could probably still teleport in there if you are mercenary, or not mercenary, if you're a huntress, you can probably blink into side there. Uh, but unfortunately you can't open it unless you have something well on the button. But I do have footage of it, so I'll put that here afterwards. Alright, here is the top half of the slab. It is actually upside down, so you have to match both with it. Alright, now, this is one of the reasons why I had to grab some of the hoppo feathers. Though honestly, I can't even be sure that I will make it over here. At Rally Point Delta, um... I always kind of wanted to check. I figured it would be like up there or something over there within a reachable distance, but nope, it's kind of... This one's a little far. I even thought it'd be back there, since no one really knows about the kind of like secretish area over there. It's actually all the way over here. This should at the very least get me over there. Look. Take off. Another jump, a little higher. Ooh, barely making it. But we're actually just gonna be over here. Bink. And this, this is the next location for your artifact stone slab. Circle, circle, triangle, triangle, crystal, triangle, triangle, circle, circle. Alright, now we have found ourselves in the next area. So, in here, we're gonna go into the sort of secret -y area that is behind here. God, you know, I honestly thought I'd go into a lot more places that involve, like, high as heck jumping puzzles on the top of or the bottom of the maps, and it's not, it's not actually that bad for most of these, to be honest with you. Um, half of them are found on the ground. Four levels below the ground. The rest are mostly just kind of... eh? Most none of them are too bad. Post, but I'm not sure. Aha, here it is. Okay, now this one has fallen sideways, to the right in fact. You should see by this little uh, symbol here which way is up, basically. Oh, I guess there's a stone titan somewhere nearby. So, essentially, you just turn this um, to the left, kind of like 90 degrees left or 90 degrees counterclockwise. Um, actually it doesn't really matter which, to be honest with you. So, it's just circle, square, square, the middle row, three squares, and then square, square, circle. Alright, off to the next one. Alright, now, we are in the next area, Scorched Acres, one of the first updates of this game, and this is where one of the next ones are. Now, the actual thing is located up there, but this time it isn't actually a slab, and I'll show you why in a second. Alright, it turns out that I was actually looking at this thing the wrong way entirely. See, if you look at it, this whole thing is actually the, uh, the code. Like, it's just this entire thing with, uh, the thing to the side. Because this is square... Uh, crystal square, and then the 
because that's over there. Circle, crystal, circle, circle, square, circle. Now, I'm not sure which way is up or down, so you kind of have to figure that one out by yourself? I assume it might be like this way, actually. It might just be this way, but it's, it's really hard to tell. But this, in fact, is the code. Surprisingly enough, I never thought it would be that, like, honestly. I like how some of this stuff is abstract, but I like how others are actually the slab. Alright, so, for Sky Meadows, we actually only have half of one of the puzzle pieces here. This has been cut off, and the other half is located in a different realm. In fact, it's inside the Void Realm. Sorry for all the monsters here, it's kind of difficult to stand, but as you can see, half of it is there. I can't really stand around for long, but I'll switch over to the Void Realms to show you what the other half of the area looks like. Alright, now, this one is a little tricky because it's kind of hard to just spot this area, so I'll give you some reference points to kind of see the outside landscape. But this is uh, the Hidden Realm that just came out with the most recent update before this, and this is actually half of one of the slabs. Now, the arrow, I'm pretty sure, is just to show that it's pointing up, is that way. So, and you can tell kind of by the triangles every single time for what's pointing up. Now, this is actually half of one. One half is hidden in this hidden realm. The other half is hidden in Siren's Call. Now, that second half, um, I will show you in a second, but that's it for now. Alright, here we are at the hidden bizarre between time and here we have yet another artifact slab this one is kind of easy to spot because most people would easily check here it's behind here behind the shopkeeper or at least what i assume is the shopkeeper um for those of you who can't see it too well it is a little bit hard to discern but it is two rows of just squares and then one row of all triangles in the back so that's square 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 Square, 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 triangle, triangle, triangle. That's all that is behind that reflective thing. Alright, now we are in the Gilded Coast. This one, um, I remember that it was underneath some water, but I forgot exactly which one and where, so give me a small second on that. Alright, here it is for the actual tablet. Now, as you can see, it's all triangles except for the bottom middle, which is a crystal. So triangle, 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 crystal, triangle. That's all you really need to know. Alright, this is Sky Meadows, and this is the actual location where you put in the code, just so that you know, for all the future artifacts. Now, as you can see on the left, that is the Artifact of Honor. It's basically squares all around the outside. After you put in the code, you go through the portal like so, and it takes you into the next event. Uh, for the Artifact of Honor, it's just squares all along the outside with one triangle in the center. Now, we go into the Hidden Realm. The Hidden Realm is where we do the actual artifact. Now, this next artifact is a little bit more difficult to get to than just going there. Um, it's kind of out far, you kind of need a volcanic egg in order to get there. Probably multiple charges at that, since it's on the back side of the giant cube located near the back of the map. Now, after getting here, it's also eh, kind of hard to stay on. Yeah, I'm trying to get a better angle so that you can see it. So, it is crystal square square, triangle square triangle, circle crystal crystal. Probably one of the most complicated codes out of this entire thing. But, that is where you get the next artifact slab for the artifact for liquid. Alright, this should be the last two that we have on the list of artifact slabs. First one requires us to go through a celestial portal. I'm not actually sure how that blue portal over there opened up, to be honest one, with you. But this is the portal for a moment fractured. Now, getting here is never exactly fun or easy. Well, actually, it is kind of fun. It is always kind of fun. Because this whole game is fun. But, all we have to do is make our way all the way to the obelisk. In fact, the best part is we'll be able to see both of these artifacts at the same time. Or, at least, almost at the same time. Now, first one you're going to want to go to is behind this obelisk here. This is where... It is located. 
It is all crystals. So all you have to do is have only crystal for the code. Now, after that, obliterate yourself from existence. And doing so, with the necklace that I have on, it is called, it's a blue item called the, be the Beads of Fealty. Instead of obliterating yourself, it transports you to a hidden realm, a moment hole. Now, a moment hole only has one thing in it, really. A twisted scavenger. Uh, I got whipped with the wild. Good god. And each of them has basically a item set with them. I'm not even really sure what the item set for with whip the wild is. But on each of the scavengers, they, and it's very hard to see because you kind of have to like get a scavenger to stand still. They have tattoos on them. Oh god. Okay, maybe don't focus on that. Oh god. Okay, alright, 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 alright. I underestimated you. It's very hard to see, but they have uh, tattooed on themselves an actual code. Very difficult to see. Thank god I brought Deal's best friend. I knew I was going to need it for this. I didn't think I was going to die though for this guy. Ugh. Alright. That should be it though. Thank God. Now, I will try and edit as well as I can in post so I can show you what actually came out. Ooh. And he drops 10 lunar coins instead of the usual, which would be just uh, oh, 10 items instead. And we fade to black. We're not exactly sure what happens after this, but all it seems to do is just fade out and that is the end of the run so with that being said that is all of the artifact slab locations in the entirety of risk of rain 2 now i'll try to edit as best as i can so i can show you the last ones because they're kind of difficult to see on a moving monster like that but that should be where you can find all the codes yourself so if you like this video like and subscribe down below I highly suggest playing more Risk of Rain 2, and please vote Sniper in, I miss him so much from the original game, and please add more turrets, uh, bigger, like, and please add more drones and turrets to the game, because god, I love them from Risk of Rain 1, and please increase the cap so it's not, I think, this is just off the top of my head, 16 for 16 allies that you could have at the same time. Please increase that cap. Or at least make a leveling system where drones effectively get better than missile after a certain amount of time. Almost nothing is worth it except for emergency drones and incinerators, and if you're doing a 20 stage run, say as Commando, it's very difficult to actually keep up your drones. As you saw with that fight right there, two of them died. And we'll see you next time with more Risk of Rain 2. Peace.